I did it. I got you home. You are a terrible driver. In you go. All right. I miss you already. Miss you already. What was so appealing about Miss You Already? I just thought, oh man, this is this is life. This is messy life. You know, we all think we're going along one track, and then some crazy zinger will come in and just throw a hand grenade into your life. Like these girls are like fun. They've got a full rock and roll, fun chicks, and everything. And suddenly Millie gets a cancer diagnosis. How do you just keep it fun for them and <laughs> stay positive? Is everything okay? You found out a week ago? Well, how could the tumor have gotten so big? Because it's aggressive, like you. Let's talk about Millie. What is her persona like, and what is her relationship like with Jess? They're actually polar opposites. <laughs> now, they, they meet in the middle somewhere. There's a little gray crossover area. But I, I mean, Millie's a complete cow. She's a narcissist. She, her priorities are all wrong. She loves Jess profoundly, and Jess is so solid and supportive and grounded. It's funny. You can have different types of people, but when you have that electricity of love. It's the op oppositions complement each other. Jess, this is Nurse Sam. Nurse Sam, this is Jess, my elderly companion. Sam, I want a blue cap. Just so you know, with your type of chemo, there's only about a 20% chance it'll save your hair. She wants the blue cap. She's getting the blue cap. Can you talk about the difficulty of supporting a friend who's in such a different place in her life? That, to me, is really what friendships are, especially lifelong ones. And that is so well captured in this movie, and I think it is so true to life. And you don't give up. You work at it, and you stay connected, and you work through those times. Yeah, it's like a messy combo of respect and patience and frustration. If another person looks at me with sad eyes, I am going to projectile vomit. Oh! Turn it up! Oh, life. One thing I really loved was how Millie and Jess were able to find humor in every situation. Why do you think that that's such an important part of friendship and life? It's what gets you through life, you humor. Got to, you've got to laugh. <laughs> I mean, you have to. Yeah. That's it. It's the balm, the great balm of life. Is it okay if I just try this one? Oh, Sorry, I've been so eyeballing well. it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you excited for audiences to see your movie? I saw family seeing this together, and they were into it, or take a bunch of best friends. And then at the end, you just start remembering all the crazy stuff you did together with your best friend. Totally connects it, right? Yeah. yeah. That's the fun part. It's bigger.